Hi everyone, um, I'm Patrick Murray and this is my wife Kim and we are part of the group Myositis Mavens. Um, I have this group is close to my heart as uh, I, I was diagnosed with IBM uh, approximately three years ago and I've been living with that disease probably a lot longer than that. Um, I know that everyone knows here, the group Myositis Maven helps raise awareness of the disease Myositis. So one of the things um, Pat and I decided to do um, in order to help raise awareness for, um, for the Myositis um, Association was to contact our local newspaper um, and do an article about Pat's journey um, with inclusion body myositis um, and kind of what he has learned and um, the people he's crossed paths with um, since he's been diagnosed. Yeah, and we live uh, in Carmel, Indiana, which is a suburb of Indianapolis, Indiana. It's the north side. Um, and uh, I didn't know how the article was going to turn out, but I actually turned out pretty good. I thought they were going to stuff it on the back page, but here I am on the front page um, in the current in Carmel. Carmel has about 80,000 people, so it did reach a, uh, does reach a lot of homes. And the title of the article is called Finding Strength. And the strength that we're looking for is uh, the strength that's taken away um, from the uh, gene degeneration progress of myositis. Um, a couple things that I wanted to make sure that um, I hit, um, and I think the lady did a very good job who wrote the article, um, that uh, we always uh, have faith. We have faith that, uh, certainly faith in the good Lord that they can get us through this, but also faith that there'll be a cure for uh, this disease someday. Um, and another thing besides the uh, number one uh, concern about getting a cure, um, it's really getting help with diagnosis. So I kind of told that story where it took me about a year to figure out exactly what I have. Like when you're dealing with a rare disease, as everybody knows, it's hard to get a properly diagnosis. So my hope that uh, by telling my story that if there's others out there who are in the same boat that I was in or other folks with myositis, uh, that you could get uh, help uh, diagnosing what you have so you know uh, really what you're up against and uh, um, can uh, go down the path of trying to beat it. Um, and then I also wanted to explain how uh, there's always hope uh, hope in a cure. Um, certainly the medical field is doing its best in trying to find out, um, you know, how to uh, find a cure for this disease. Um, and uh, in the meantime, how can we slow it down? So I talked about um, different uh, ways and things that I do in order to, um, you know, slow down to that disease. And hopefully that was kind of helpful for people. And, and on the awareness side, I thought the lady did a very good job at the article. Uh, as she contacted some experts, one of the experts uh, was Dr. Uh, Conrad Weil out of uh, Wash, Washington University in St. Louis. Um, he's my neurologist and he spends his uh, uh, waking hours trying to find a cure and researching um, you know, myositis. So he did a good job of explaining what myositis was. I got a lot of uh, feedback from people, uh, friends and people in the community um, uh, just letting me know that they had no, they knew that something was um, up with me, but they had no idea what it was and that the article did, did a really good job explaining what myositis was. Um, so I thought that uh, helped get the word out from, uh, um, you know, on myositis. So um, after Pat was interviewed uh, for the article and mm -hmm. she you know, asked a lot of really great questions. And like Pat mentioned, um, she interviewed Dr. Weil, who happens to be um, the um, one of the physicians that works with the Myositis Association, because he, so he really is an expert. Um, and then she also contacted the Myositis Association and interviewed um, one of the staff members there um, to kind of get their, their um, their input um, of how the Myositis Association is helping um, helping with the management and cure of, of myositis. So that was um, great. And then after the article came out, and like Pat mentioned it, you know, there's 80 some thousand people um, in our 
town, um, he was contacted by so many, um, you know, people we knew, friends, obviously, but um, people we didn't know, people that were struggling with, um, you know, maybe diseases that are similar to, to um, IBM. Um, he even was contacted by a couple people that had IBM that lived, you know, halfway across the country. Um, so anyway, that was uh, the fact that he was contacted by people, you know, on, on different parts of the country were, was really kind of a surprise. Um, and then after the article came out, I took the article and, and um, loaded it onto my social media and um, put out several hashtags um, so that people, um, you know, could kind of follow the hashtags to, to more details about either myositis or, or how, um, you know, through prayer, Pat was managing um, um, his, his symptoms and his diagnosis. So, um, and, and that just, you know, spread all over the country with, with friends and, and friends of friends um, spreading it that way. So anyway, um, that is our story um, about how we're spreading awareness um, about a myositis uh, um, in the way that we, the way that we can. So. God bless.